Someone was asking, if I am running a Zoom meeting, how can I see what the attendees are seeing on my computer? Now, of course, you could have a second device connected and then you would see what the attendees are viewing because that would be an attendee device. But the question was, can I do it on my own computer so I can see both on the same screen and not have to look at that other device? So let me show you one way that you can do that. And it uses the ability of a browser to have a uh, what's called an in private or an incognito window. I have my Zoom meeting running, as you can tell. I'm going to go to the meeting information area here and I'm going to copy the link to the meeting. So I've copied it to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go to Edge, which is my browser that I'm using, and I'm going to say open a new in private window. Now, if you're using Chrome, it's called an incognito window. And what it does is it opens a window where it does not have you logged in as uh, any user. So it doesn't know that you're logged in or what applications you have. So now I'm going to paste my link in there and hit enter. And what it's going to do is Zoom's going to want to download, and you notice it does download here, it downloads the Zoom app and it says, hey, uh, go and install the Zoom app and open it there. We don't want to do that because we're already running the Zoom app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to say launch the meeting. And it's come, going to come back again and ask me. But you'll notice now that it's saying having issues with the Zoom client, join from your browser. This is the link we're looking for. So I'm going to click cancel. So you might have to cancel a couple of times before it gives you this. Now I can say join from the browser and it allows me to put in my name. So I'm going to put in attendee view. And of course you have to go through the recaptcha here. Um, select all the fire hydrants that it's showing me here. I hope those are all the fire hydrants, those are the only ones I see. Let's see, did I get it? Yes, okay. So now you join and you're joining as an attendee. In your Zoom meeting, you'll notice that that attendee is now in the, um, the waiting room, so I'll admit them. Very important when you are in the, uh, the mode for your attendee that you do not start your video and you do not join the audio because you don't want those competing on the same computer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, as a presenter. Um, let's first of all make this window smaller because it's a little large here. I am going to uh, open my PowerPoint presentation. Let's say I want to use this presentation. I'm going to say from the current slide. And that opens up in presenter view uh, or in, uh, in slideshow mode on one of my other screens. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share that screen that has the slides and I share that screen in zoom there we go so what I see as a presenter is I see my normal tool so I have my PowerPoint presentation I have the slideshow going on that other screen but if I go to my attendee view now you see what the attendees are seeing you're seeing exactly what the attendees are seeing they're seeing the slide there's the little videos that are uh, f f as part of the presenter, but here's the attendee. So they're seeing the video of me speaking as part of the browser. So now you're seeing exactly what the attendees see if you, if you need to see that. So I can go to continue on with my presentation and now I'm seeing exactly what the attendees are seeing. It works because the in private or incognito browser window doesn't know that you're signed in and, and you're joining from the browser, not from the Zoom app. So when you're, I'm just going to stop sharing here and go back to the, the regular Zoom here. And so what this does is it gives us that ability to have both the presenter and attendee views on the same, same computer at the same time. Now, chances are you're probably going to need a pretty good processor, RAM, and internet connection to actually make this work because, of course, we're now doing the meeting, both sides of it, on the same computer. But that's one of the options that you have to be able to have the attendee view and your own presenter view on the, on the screen all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and leave in the browser and now the Zoom meeting goes back to me just 
on my one screen as the presenter. So try that out if you need to have both the presentation, the presenter view for yourself of Zoom and the attendee view of the same Zoom meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.